Hi guys, welcome back to the podcast. It is time <clears throat> for another show review episode. Bleep. I can't actually remember what episode we're on. <laughs> it's an episode either way. You might find anyone that's watching on a video might be a little bit confused as to why Zach is sitting next to me. Um, Zach's joined the studio for, for today, studio slash spare room. Um, <laughs> <laughs> with zero soundproofing and no mic. Um, but Martin has finally stopped crying all the way back from Germany yes. and he and he joins oh, us as a as a new uh IFB Pro specialized coach. Well done, Mark. Yes, thank you, mate. Thank you. Um, what can I say? It was it, the whole three. weekend. That's three. That's, that's three. That's Same three. as me. Fucking, yeah. we're in a race now. <laughs> <laughs> you want to watch me on top of that? Yeah. <laughs> no, it, it was it was very very good. It was a, a bit of a, a emotional roller coaster. I was saying to you before, like me and Jordan are very close friends, and we have been for six years. And just to see it all come together nicely, and on that stage in that arena it was incredible yeah. there must have been about a thousand people in the crowd it looked rammed it was packed like you had like all the seats were packed everybody behind the seats and then all down the side of the seats it was crazy um the atmosphere was like like proper electric like it was something special and it was good just to see it all pan out on that stage and and yeah come together and yeah, there's some freaking good guys <laughs> yeah um, so did that was um chris carl was in heavies again or not yeah no chris carl didn't compete oh, so didn't chris compete. no 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 chris um chris bless him he we were speaking after the well we were speaking more so to jordan after the show uh and sort of just said look jordan wasn't gonna there was no plan to do this show at all after the pen we it was like okay let's reset um just sort of blind things up uh, and Jordan was about 20 weeks deep at that point and just the, the situation of going across the uh, fever wasn't even in the pipeline you know what I mean mm. we were just like okay we've done that and we'll, we'll go away and carry on working but Chris was like look I'm not doing uh, fever I think he had to do work commitments or something leading into the show so we couldn't obviously peak or something like that um, and he was very supportive of getting Jordan across um, it was like, well, I'll find you an apartment. I'll find you somewhere near to the venue. Like, yeah, he's super nice, man. He's a super yeah, nice like, dude. proper top guy. And like, he was shouting him out. He was like doing like things on his story because he's got a massive following in Germany. And he he was like putting stories out. Couldn't understand a single word of what he was saying. But like, it was along the lines of my friends coming over. Anyone got an apartment or tickets for the FIBO, things like that. Just trying to really help us out just to, to make it happen. Everything panned out perfectly. Um, he was there in the crowd as well. We've seen him, we spoke to him, and yeah, he, he's looking crazy good as well at the moment. But the plan, like, well, he wasn't doing it. I think Sweden, isn't he? Yeah, which, like, we were like, we were, we, we just assumed that Chris would be doing it. And then he was like, no, nah, I'm not doing it. You need to come over. You need to do this show. Coming a little bit sharper, you need to do this show. So that's what we've done. And at weigh in, we were approximately two kilos down again from the Ben. Yeah. Uh, completely, completely sort of, not completely, but we definitely manipulated the last couple of days different to the Ben, um, which really sort of just helped. And he was more... sharper through his midsection, man. He was sharper everywhere, but midsection was the most everywhere. like, the most like, yeah. oh, that's, that's, that's great. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. yeah. It, it was good. And, when I seen him at tanning the previous day, it was like, yeah, the, this is going to be good. And then I seen him at tanning in the morning because you know what it's like when it's in, you can see it in person, um, close up in an apartment when it's uh, when it's like four o'clock in the morning, it's dark, shit lighting. You know it's good when that's good there. Yeah. You take it to tanning, you see it on like <laughs> like backstage, and it was it was a very very good look, and I was I was very excited excited at that point. I was like. You know what? Nothing can go wrong from here. No matter what we do, we, we, we're ready to rock. The show did sort of drag on maybe a couple of hours more than when we expected. Jordan started panicking, bless him. I'm fading, I'm fading. I said, no, you're not fading, trust me. You just, like, you just, you're good, you're good. Um, and it was it was getting actually better and better as the day was getting on. And um, I think it just literally landed perfectly on stage. 
and uh, yeah, it was a uh, the, the the light heavy was a big. I think it was six light heavies, um, and they were pretty good. The guy who was coming second. He was um, works with Boss of Outlaw. He, he was good, oh, yeah. um, just not quite complete enough. Jordan, Jordan took that one, and then obviously went into the um, supers and like you know, those people. Uh, do you know a guy? He was a heavyweight called Nico. I can't remember his surname. He's quite a big, stocky guy. And um, there's a lot of there was a lot of hype about him. Mm. Um, he was in the heavies, but he got second. Uh, Lou Boss was doing supers. And um, Lou Boss was doing it. ECA Pro. Um, Lou Boss. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's absolutely skinned out of his fucking mind, didn't he? He was fourth or something in the supers. Oh, no way. The, um, not the PCA guy with the crazy glutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the, yeah. So he he done supers like um. You you know how good he is. He, he gets absolutely peeled. But to put it in perspective, I think it was fourth or third. In the, wow. I didn't see the people because I was backstage. But then, yeah, it was a it was a crazy lineup. And obviously, wow. Jordan held his own. Pulled him out in the overall. He was brought on stage centre, uh, and then they made the first call, and they didn't touch him. And they moved, made two calls, left him centre. I started bawling my eyes out. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and that was it, that's how it left, and that was it. Yeah. You had like you didn't so good, Dennis James on the stage giving out the award or something. Hey, it was like so the whole weekend it was, it was so cool. So, like, Clarida was at the FIBO, Jordan was like, I'm going to the FIBO, I'm gonna be a fanboy, I'm gonna see Clarida. <laughs> got to the got to the expo, so we got in on the Thursday, so it's exhi- the exhibitor day, so it's dead quiet, yeah. walking around, seeing Jamie, Johal. On the mutant stand, having a good chat with him, and Clarina just pops up around the corner. And Clarina, bless him, took probably 20 minutes of his time speaking to Jordan, just like just really, they were both having a really good chat. Clarina was so like, cool. Mate, can I follow you? Like to go to Jordan. And he was like, like Jordan was just made up, and that was the perfect start to the weekend. And he was just like so happy. So and then we went to registration. Dennis James was there, just chatting with him, uh, weighing in. It was cool. Um, and then he was the one giving out the the, the awards, but it was it's the first pro qualifier they've done at FIBO. So Jordan was technically Jordan's technically the first FIBO Dennis James classic pro bodybuilder. Wow, well, that's good. That's yeah. it. They might be that's doing cool. a pro show there next year. We're all the, we're all, we're all the classes. Um, quite busy. So, say again. Which class is quite busy. So classic was classic was the busiest class, which we tend to see nowadays. Um, obviously, men's physique and a couple of the female. It was the only bikini female class on the Saturday. The rest of the classes were the Sunday. Um, obviously, we we went there to to see. So classic was pretty stacked. Corey, bless him. Like I feel that he was um, unfortunately robbed. Uh, not to say the guy was good. Uh, he, he took the card, but looking shot for shot. Like and seeing Corey in person there, like it was, I couldn't Corey's see. Had a rough run. Corey's had yeah. a rough run. It reminds me of Johnny's run last year. Second, mm. second, 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 second in overall, second in overall, second in overall. And it's just like, yeah. oh yeah. come on, give the guy a fucking break. Like, yeah, yeah. But, we were backstage yeah. and and Bill is Bill was the head judge and he's yeah. he's fantastic. He comes back and speaks to everybody and first he's like, hey, I remember you from the Arnolds. You were amazing. You know what I mean? And he just sort of said that obviously a little bit, of, I think I think the term was a little bit of lower lat width um, and you're pretty much complete. But they've got to say something, they? So, but I think Corey, he was he was, he was was very disheartened, as you would be, because he was very much on. Joe done a fantastic, they got, they all done a fantastic job to get him where he was. And... Well, I missed a consistent that this time, man, and he hasn't really been up for many parts. Yeah, no, just... and, and it was a shame just to see it because it was, it was, I'm no judge, but I've seen enough comparisons in my time. I couldn't see why the other guy beat him. Mm. I mean, if, if it, there was something that it was quite obvious, and I'd be like, yeah, okay, fair enough, but there was nothing in my eyes that I could see, so it was just a bit of a, a shit up for Corey. Yeah. But he'll go again. Like I think he was planning on doing Sweden, um, but I think they've him and Joe have had a chat and Joe said so let's, let's pull back said today he's pulled the plug yeah because it's just like it's mentally like just just to go again and then to get and you know robbed again or, or whatever but um you know for someone like that to to be like very much done with it like oh that'll do for this run like you know he's not he's not done done is he? he's going again like I go won't stop until he gets it <laughs> so, you know yeah fair play to the killer fucking sound dude as well 
Right. Are we doing a bit of the old Ben W. Ben right. Weeder. Ben Weeder. Start us off, Tom. Go on, Tom. Oh, no. I can't remember, I can't remember what happened to this. Are we going through every classes, or are we just because you don't do that to me because I don't fucking remember? Well, let's, <laughs> let's do, let's do bodybuilding. Oh, I remember who won stuff. I remember winners. So obviously, George won his class, and uh, um, Cal had. Um, what is his name? Escape me? What? Because I fucking Connor. know him. Connor, excuse me, Connor. In in the uh, Connor, absolutely fucking very sharp from the front, mate, right? and even tired from the back this time around. Fucking cracking. Yeah. Really, really good. Jordan, freaky as ever, bubbly muscles and all that. Looks like a as wide as he is tall, no offense. <laughs> he's fucking massive. He's, he's, fucking actually, like that. he's actually the only huh? person that Sean Clarida has ever spoken to at, at eye, eye level. <laughs> eye level. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I mean, did you, did you guys see the Olympia where they did them fucking dirty, the 212 guys dirty, where they brought out fucking Brian Shaw to give out the award? And it's yeah. like, oh, come on, what are you Mate, did you, That reel that I've just shown, it's, it's got the super next to Gomez. And it, excuse me, he must be... The Gorm, Gorm, uh, Gomez was about 85 kg at that point, yeah. I'd say. The super, I would say, was probably what, 35 kilos heavier than him. Six 35 kilos? Bring this, can you bring the reel up? Yeah, I'll bring it up now. He was probably about 6'2", I'd say, maybe. About 120, 125 kilos. 120 kilos, I reckon. Just go down a little bit. Oh, they, oh fucking hell, yeah. Yeah. So that guy on the right's a heavy. And they just moved the super to the... Um, right. Oh, Jordan is on. He looks fucking brilliant, man. <laughs> On the button, yeah. But like the, the the heavy and the supers were both very good. Um, I saw the heavy backstage once, and I was like, "Whoa!" Um, and you always have that thing as a coach, don't you? Like you you always scoping and you are always thinking, right? Okay, what's what's going to happen here? Mm. Um, Jordan held his own like very well. I think you boys just got much. Better. Yeah, from this from the side and from the rear, he'll start really like taking. And taking names there, won't he? Like that side shot's fucking brilliant. Freaky. Freaky. Crazy good, mate. Crazy yeah, good. Yeah, that guy on the left, mate. He, like Jordan's five. He, he always have a go at me because I never get his height right. He's like five, four, five, <laughs> five, four, five, five, maybe. Five, four, I think. He probably slapped me for that. Um, but the guy, you can see where his elbow is on, on his wrist there on the left hand side. Fucking, yeah, big boy. Yeah. And he was on, you know. I mean, it was a, it was a good super. Yeah, that's a bunch of seriously good bodybuilders. That's no, there's no slackers in that lineup. Yeah, yeah, really good, mate. Really good. Yeah. Very good. Wow, fantastic. Uh, heavies was. I'm oh, sorry, actually, let's watch this a bit longer. No, it's, 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 I think it's like a minute long. There you go. Oh, yeah. Um, heavies was. He was in heavies. It was. Um, Carl Chris Cow. Carl and Chris Cal, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was that was quite close between them. Uh, Carl looked really good, but I think uh, Chris just has a level of like density to his tissue that just just pipped him there. Um, that's the overall, one, that's the overall lineup, isn't it? That's the overall, yeah. That's the supers. That's lights, and then that's that's the yeah. heavies. Oh, they just didn't. They just straight up didn't put the heavies on. Oh, well, there you go. Um, so this this chap was the one that won the heavies. No, 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 uh, no, no, that, no, 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 mate. This is this is the super heavy lineup. lineup. That's the French guy. Oh, hang on, this is supers, isn't it? Yeah, 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 they, bro. The heavies pictures aren't up, they didn't put any up. Oh, okay, yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, but yeah, so so it was, um, yeah, Chris versus um, Carl, um, Carl. Um, which was cool. Yeah, Chris Carr just had like a little bit more like density to his tissue base, and I think that's what pipped it. Um, but yeah, you see this latest update, that one there. This one. I think, yeah, I think that's yeah, that's that one. today. Yeah, we can. Yeah, soon isn't it? Yeah. That's good. Oof. Yeah, and that Anthony, the French guy, he's doing Sweden as well, I believe. Yeah, it'll be a good show. 
Cool. Very, very. Oh, there he is. Yeah, in, <laughs> yeah. in, in German, Mark, it says, Congratulations, Jordan, my athlete. Is just <laughs> hey, no, no, no like, the, get this right. So, um, he done this, uh, posted up just before we done it, well, quite a bit before I done my post. And Bodybuilder Without Borders put it right across onto their page, didn't they? Great coach, away. Oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. And he messaged me straight after, he's like, oh, sorry, but I didn't realize <laughs> you've done this, if you've done your post early, I want to put it up. Oh, <laughs> Oh dear. Um, yeah. So basically, we had heavies. So who won heavies again? Chris Carl. Chris Carl. And then how did um Carlos do in heavies? He was. Uh, he got second, didn't he? Yeah. Well, I don't know who else, was, who else was in the lineup in heavies. There was one other chap. I don't know who he was. The chap with big arms, I think. Well, no, there was two others. There was two others, wasn't there? there was two others, but I, I don't. I don't know who they were. I think they were guys from from Europe or something. They're foreign guys. Yeah. yeah. And then, and then the supers. Yeah, supers here. And then the supers was was Josh, Jamie, the French dude whose name escapes me, and then Reese. Anthony. Anthony's That's cool. it. Yeah. 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 Arms on him. Yeah, he's a freak, dude. I think his midsection control is what lost him lost him the placing there. Um because at the end he hit some really cool vacuum and I'm like, what didn't he do that the whole way through? <laughs> So then, like he, because he'd been like trying to lock up his abs, and for some reason, he just th th there's something that wasn't quite right there. Um, but he, um, he, he, he's very, very good bodybuilder. He's fucking freakazoid, isn't he? Yeah, he's doing, he's doing sweet. He's just done a little bit of an update on his as well. He's looking on his. On his what's what's that chap's name? Anthony. Um, is he with um Stefan? I think he's with Boss of Outlaw. I think. Yes, uh, Anthony. Yeah, isn't Anthony that highest? Yeah, no, that's not highest. Anthony J. Yeah, that's in there. That's him. J E H L. Oh yeah. I think it's on his story. It must be his story. Crazy, but just done it. Twenty. I think they're twenty-three inches. Yeah. We we're speaking to him at Tannin. Twenty-three inches. I was bigger than my bloody legs. <laughs> that's a good shot. Yeah, that's class size. Um, he'll be he'll be good in Sweden then, won't he? He'll be very yeah, good. Yeah, go go on the go on his story if you can on the on the map. Yeah, he's with Stefan, yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Um, Any of you guys these um bodybuilders in Sweden? I've got a classic guy, that's it. Yeah, men's physique guy. So so we had Reese taking then, so yeah, so it went it went Josh, then it went Anthony, then it went um Jamie, and then Reese won. Yeah. And then there's your overall. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Reese was, was uh Reese he looks was. like he's been put together in a science lab. Yeah. How do you can how do you can you put together like an AI? Can you generate an aesthetically pleasing super heavyweight for us, please? I was like, oh yeah, I'll do that. It's like a, yeah. yeah. So he was he was sharp as fuck. I was super happy with that. How was he that, feeling? That, that landed perfectly. That, that was really good. Yeah. How was he feeling? I, I spoke I've spoken a couple of times to him, but like it's only was... just sort of starting to sink in a bit. Can he? He was like after the show. He was like he was like oh is there, is there any pressure? He was like coming up like just jumping one like even if I beat one guy that would be fun. And I was just <laughs> like I was like that's cool. Like, we spoke about it a bit, and then I said maybe it's best just to chill and. Put some tissue on, and then we'll come back and have a good, a good, solid run at a pro debut um, in the future. Cool, yeah. cool, cool. That's good. Exciting. Exciting. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, man. He he did well. He did well. It was good. What was um the difference between um um Ten X Kingdom and Ben Weeder for Reese with like weigh-in weights? Was there any difference in terms of? I think he was like, I think it was like two pound lighter at the weigh-in on the second time round because we just want to get his lower back in a little bit more. Um, but weirdly, we actually loaded in heavier for the uh, for the Ben Weeder. Um, yeah, so he did. So he did twelve hundred gram of carb, then twelve hundred gram of carb, and then eight hundred gram of carb. Um, three that was, and then that was his like loading protocol going in towards it for the for the second one. Before that, it was more like twelve hundred, one thousand, eight hundred. So it's only like two hundred different, but it's only like a little bit less, but. 
his, his meal, we don't even count the meal that he has on top of that, like right before, like the night before stage. It's fucking hilarious. So this is what he had always done this before. And I'm like, look, we can try it for the first one. That's cool. Like, you know, we're going to go and see how you handle. And because he's using a much erratic, it was like, he was like, this, I need this. Otherwise it pulls too much out of me. And yeah. I was like, okay, cool. Like, let's, let's try it then. Like, I'm willing to, to see how this runs. And he does four of the Sainsbury's muffins diced up and cooked in coconut oil. <laughs> and he does that with 150 grams worth of steak and then like two eggs um and then maybe like a little bit of cream of rice or some rice with that steak meal so i'll eat that we'll do the moderatic a little bit before uh, before that and then the rest of it afterwards and then he just he's like he just like looks bloated puffy big full whatever wakes up crisp as fuck because i sent you boys the pictures didn't i yeah, yeah. and i'm like well he's ready don't worry yeah. <laughs> <Guess> it works <laughs> so, that's yeah. mad it's funny yeah. that, but um, yeah, what, like, just what, repeat that one more time. Like, like, pen and paper. Prep for one hundred and one. How many muffins? You know, for all the you know, for all the people who are like, oh no, like you can't do like a burger and fries and a diet. We're like, we didn't, we did something. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do it, but funnily enough, I won a program yesterday with that. <laughs> yeah, it, it doesn't work, but you know, a guy who was like thirty pounds lighter than them. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. that was cool. that was a close overall, though. I will say that Chris is fucking good. Like yeah. I think the only thing that edged it was that Reese's conditioning from the side and from the rear was just that more detailed. And I don't mean like he was leaner. I think they were probably the same level of like leanness, but Reese's physique in general just has more separation and, and actual physical detail in the muscle tissue. When um, he hits his, when he goes on his to his side and that hamstring is, is quite yeah. hamstring split. Your like, eyes are drawn to it, aren't they, Martin? Like it's just like fucking nuts in there. There's a lot more like, pop in it, isn't it? There's a lot more pop in it. Yeah, more parts of physique, more detail, more separation. And he's just aesthetically pleasing. And then Chris was, you know, the, but the thing is as well, what I kind of noticed, and if obviously Jim probably saw it as well, they're very similar height. But Reese is like 236 there, and Chris is obviously sub 225 before weigh-in, isn't he? So then, do you know what I mean? Because he's got to be under 225 to make heavies. Um, so similar sort of height, maybe like an inch difference or something, but like with that much more tissue and with the same level of conditioning, it's obviously yeah. more likely to sway towards Reese's sort of way with um with just that level of development more. But that means that like you know if Chris becomes a super in the future, he's just going to do the same sort of thing, isn't he? Like, do you know what I mean? It's just uh, if he doesn't get it in Sweden for whatever yeah. reason, he'll just need to be a super, and then it's like oh, but basically yeah. he'll just tip that box really, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm happy. It was really cool. It was a great. It was a lovely weekend. It was very, very nice. Super, super great way to start the season for all of us. I mean, you all yeah. fucking did brilliantly, didn't we? All, all yeah. did really well. Yeah, moving on to uh, classic, classic. Cows mm -hmm. I see. Also, I I was so fucking close to putting Connor in the PCA this weekend, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> he, he checked. He checked in. Let me show you this. He checked in. Did we see? We saw him today, didn't we? He checked in. And he was like four pounds above. Um, four pounds above the uh, stage weight, and he was literally like in the same condition. I was like, we should have fucking done it, but then he couldn't do it. He couldn't do it. Um. But yeah, I wish we'd. Uh, I wish we'd have done that. I was like, "Do we go Check sword? Do we go sword hunting this weekend and just finish?" <laughs> no, 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 that's not. That's not. Um, right. What? What we got next? We got classic next. Also, you know, um, Alex Davies that I had in classic. Yes, I think. Yeah. I think we're going to go into heavyweights. Oh, what well, go first up. Sweden? I think we're, no, we'll move well, on not, not yet. Probably back end of the year, but. Huge, Mate, yeah. he's 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 like 107 kilograms now in the same shape he was on stage. And yeah. for him to get back down to 96. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> <It ain't me. laughs> Very true, baby. Very true. Where is it? This was him at 100. And... Oh, fuck. I forgot that was there. This was him at um, 106. Yeah. But yeah, it was. So the plan was, was the plan for him to do Sweden? <laughs> no. It, we were basically oh. going to. Go all in with the Ben Weeder at the 96 at class right. uh, C okay. and then just, just just see what happens. But I think the biggest thing for him is he just doesn't have the uh he doesn't have like the tiny waist, massive vacuum, tiny rib cage that a lot of the guys have. And for him, like his frame wants to carry tissue, but very aesthetically. So I think now we're just gonna have a really good run at putting him in the heavies. Yeah, yeah, no, that's cool. Exactly. You can force him out of this um, yeah, same, quite positively. Same, same. Yeah, and he's got you know. And then when you when you get to bring him down as well, Cal, when you diet him down, you're going to have so much more governance over just determining a look rather than chasing a weight. 
Like yeah. that's the problem I have with Sam Astle now because he's like he's like 10, 11 pounds over the over the cap. And I'm like, you're only five, six off position. Like the rest, the rest is just going to be, you know, sacrificing somewhat of a look. But it's one of those things that you play with when you have people who could very much are too on the end of the pendulum sort of thing, aren't they? They can go either way, really. Um, yeah, this is what it is. Um, right. Rest the classic we had. How do I get out of that? There you go. We had um, two rows. So that class C was basically the overall. <laughs> Pretty much, it was it was Alex, it was Brandon, and it was uh, Mr. Matt McCullough. Um, yeah, mate, it was I, in B again. B was uh, Corey, and there was, oh, a, was there was another really good lad in B. Um, oh, uh, French guy. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, like he, hard as nails. Sort of yeah, I like physique. this. This guy's really good yeah, as well. Him. That's him. Yeah, him there. Yeah. yeah, he was he was very good. Really, fun. yeah, he's going into it. He's going into who was the one who played the fucking dodgy music? He's going to open. It was that there was one who had like a really, really weird dodgy tune. But then they announced the dude was like, Okay, guys, we're sorry about that. It was just, so oh, no, cause it was, yeah, it was the um, someone had uh, a few f bombs or something. Uh, oh, drop right. I think it was more than that. <laughs> the song, yeah. yeah, I know what you mean, though. Yeah. yeah, um, so they had to apologize if there was any uh, kids in the audience, any kids in the crowd, yeah. Um, yeah, I was I was telling Mark uh, when Matt because they had a, they got the ferry over, and um, when he checked in, the, I gave him a load the day before weigh-ins uh, on my page actually. The day before he weighed in on Thursday, he had a load day and a long travel day. They got up at like three a.m. to travel and then come over to the show. And he checked in the following morning, and he was like off the face of the earth flat. And but you know you know when you like it wasn't this you know when when it's like panic flat when the client's like I'm now not in shape anymore like I look six weeks out because they're so flat and there's no detail there and I was like just yeah. trying to calm him down and I was like once you eat today it <laughs> get better with every meal so you just need to try and calm down now and then as soon as he'd made weight and we got to put more water in like he was just getting crisper and crisper by the meal and then he he went to bed nice. we we managed to get six meals in he went to bed. Um, six meals, seven liters of water, I think, and then it was just we played a. He just used a quarter, a quarter the night before. Woke up, cleared tons overnight. Used the quarter in the morning. Fed a little bit in the morning again. Rehydrated, and then I took that at the. I took that in the tanning booth that morning, and I was like, "Yeah, this is this is going to be very, very hard to beat." Yeah, very hard to beat. Um, on the button. Absolutely, I've been time. a massive fan of his for Steve. For, we, I think we we spoke about it for some time. Like. Yeah, we said didn't we? And we said recently that he's just absolutely meant. There was a bit of an unfortunate one, wasn't there? Though we will say that because that's still what we might get in one. But in the in the tallest of tall classes, yes. there's only two: my guy Charlie, and then oh, yeah. the fridge with arms that beat him. But whatever. <laughs> Yeah, well, that was um, that no, was. I'm that not was, bitter about it. I'm not upset about it. I'm fine. It's okay. D different um, different structures, isn't it? Because for me, like, just, just yeah, it could have gone. It could have gone either way there. Because I think Charlie had improved a lot from the from the regional as well. So with, yeah, with yeah. Two, I almost think with two in the class, it's almost like it's almost harder to judge because it's like do you, do you, you literally have what do you go for? Yeah. Two, and especially. Especially, especially yeah, like like if one's dense and thick and heavily muscled and whatever and. You know, all of that, and one's you know a little lighter on his frame in terms of tissue, but structurally very classic. Like, where do you go? Do you go for the guy who's who's more of a bodybuilder as such, who's made the weight, or do you just lean more towards the aesthetic side of the judging? Um, yeah. Um, but there we go. Here's what it is. Um. So yeah, Matt took. I just would have liked to see him in the overall. I didn't think he was ever going to win it, but I'd love to have seen him in that last little lineup. Is he doing now, uh, Tom? What's he doing? In off season break, end of the year, we'll have another go. Yeah. Utilize the rebound, push up what we can, and then try and come up, and try and land when he's like weighing in. Like it's a real struggle to make weight. Then we know that we're like as close as we can possibly be at that time. Somewhere like Spain or something. Um, yeah, maybe or something like even later, perhaps. We're not sure yet. Okay. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Menzuzi is a busy yeah. one. He's a busy yeah, one. Very busy one. Um, uh, obviously Sheridan was in a. Sheridan. He was, yeah. was very close. Yeah, at, the, at the end, I was like, it's either Louis or Sheridan that's fucking won this overall. It was, I think, it was one point in the end, which was yeah. 
super, super close. It was just Louis's rear shot was just lights out, mate. It was it was crazy. Mm -hmm. Said, yeah. so in, that, in that regional, I says Louis the Louis the guy that you yeah. need to watch out for. He's, he's, he's Louis prep himself. He does, doesn't he? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Play. Um, he looked absolutely fantastic. Really, yeah, really yeah. impressive. Very, very good. I think he, he had a lot more life in him this time, didn't he? Yeah, because he was able to. Yeah, uh, you can see it. He's a bit more pop. Yeah, a, more, a lot more sharper, especially through his midsection. Yeah. Tell you what, Alex looks like him in there too. Yeah. He does. He does, man. Yeah, he's a tough. He's a tough one. It tough was one. a. It was a good overall. It was a good overall. It was. He wasn't. He wasn't in the best of. Uh, in the best of health in that last week with his. Uh, with his yeah, Jesus, respiratory probably. situation, yeah. but we'd like we'd held off. I was like, I don't want you to use the uh, moxicillin because it was like three days out. I was like, I don't want you to use it. Oh, no. Um, and then Doctor Dean was on the phone, like, just make sure he doesn't get pneumonia. And I was like, oh, fucking <laughs> <sake."> <laughs> cheers, mate. <laughs> Uh, I really like his shape. No, Zach, we can't, Zach, we can't hear you very well on this, but are you able to get closer? <laughs> if... Get any closer, I'm going to be fucking sitting on this cunt's lap. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I liked, I liked this guy. This guy was, uh, this guy was really good. Um, nice like, shape, nice structure. I don't know his name, but yeah, he was, he was peeled. Yeah, he was fucking peeled. Um, yeah. We have bigger. Uh, Jared and Alex going giant, again. It looks like a giant compared to all these boys. Straker and Pollard in that class. Yeah, class Z blattling out as well. <laughs> yeah, it was. Um, so, are any of them going again at Sweden? I think Sheridan. Pollard is. Sheridan is, and I think Pollard is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, cool. Alex is currently trying to mend himself, and I think I, I, I presume that Louis is on holiday, just chilling now as a pro. <laughs> yeah. 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 Even yeah. in the pro, even in the pro show, when they turned to the back, Louis was like, "I know." I was like, "One of the best, the backs, best backs on there." Yeah, one of the best backs there. <laughs> we're back. We're back. Um, let me reshare. Bikini was Marnie, wasn't it? Yes. Yes. Do look really good. Um, Fantastic. And then, what was um, what happened with wellness and uh, figure? Was there enough? Not enough competitors, I don't think, off the top of my head. Right. Okay. What for any of the classes? I don't think so. I don't think so for all all of them. Well, there'd be four, wouldn't there? Where they'd, they'd be like wellness, figure, physique, and bodybuilding. There wasn't enough. Anyway, sure. Mm. And then pro show was, uh, I think he was Italian. Yeah. The chappy one. So off, yeah. 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 I thought I thought wow. when they called the first caller. I was like, it's Josh and White Shorts one and two. And then the more they worked them, this the yeah, monster was... in the blue shorts. It was mate, if he was fully peeled, he'd be fucking fast. He would have been insane because he was fucking massive as well. But with but it was a it, it, range on him. It, it was really, really good shape. He's you know, he turned to the back, his waist looked tiny, he looked wide as fuck. Mm. Um real, yeah, real good fucking muscle bellies. He was uh, he was good. And he just got better as he as he posed and posed and posed and posed. Even at the toward, even though towards the end when he when it was finished, he weren't you know, you can see he weren't legit fucking ready. But yeah. Um, he looked fucking good. He, you, well, I say not ready, but you know when someone could be better. Like, like, yeah, yeah, he, he could be better. Um, yeah. so there are lots of running a battery. It's been terribly organised tonight because we, we, we got three percent battery on my laptop as well. One sec. Um, where did, where did Louis place in in all of this? Fifth. He got fifth, and then Louis, Louis fifth, Owen oh, fourth, oh. Josh third. The chap with the blue shorts second, and then the chap with the white shorts was the talent lab was first. Which, mm. to be fair, conditioning wise, he was probably in the best shape in terms of crispest. Yeah. The only thing I'd say with the chappy one in the white shorts was his back. Yeah, it wasn't. I'm not sure. Not as strong. Yeah, I'm not sure. Great from the front, probably it's not. Just, it's just one of those, and it? it's like you get you're getting judged on two you're getting judged on two shots in men. <laughs> two shots. Yeah. Isn't it? It, it's two shots. So if that front shot is night and day. Night and day, the best up there. Then it's yeah. going to take a, it's going to take something very very special from the back to beat, you know, to to even the score out. Yeah. 
Yeah. Being on the far end in the blue shorts is just out angling the fuck out of me. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. like it's like I'm doing men's physique and also super. It's like... it's, uh, this guy, this guy is two twelve. You know, this guy's a two twelve pro. Oh, yeah, two twelve pro, wouldn't he? Yeah. He's enormous as well. I remember seeing that. I remember seeing that um, on one of the bodybuilders' borders, whatever. But to be yeah. fair, to be fair, you know, when when they when when people post him, they're like, oh, he's he's way too big. He's way too big. He doesn't look that big when he stood next to all them. Yeah, and I said it to many. I said it to. Just, a, I said it to a girl. I was like, wait until he stood next to all the other lads to say if he's yeah. too big. I mean, yeah. listen, he isn't men's physique. He hasn't got yeah. fucking men's physique shape, but he one hundred percent isn't fucking way bigger than all the the others. Check out. No. He's in between Josh and 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 your dude on the right here. They both look bigger than him. Yeah, it's yeah. awesome. Tiny. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Josh going into classic. Josh is moving classic. classic. About That's to get cool. huge. Um, Elton, I think I needed. I just needed to fill him harder for that show. He had that. Uh, I think I texted you on Sunday night. It might have been Monday yeah. Morning, yeah. when he had that. When they had that little bout with his stomach on that Wednesday and Thursday, I think I must have put in like three hundred grams of carbs on the Wednesday, and he was like, "Yeah, it's sitting quite well." Repeated it on the Thursday, and then it was Friday pro athletes meeting, and then Saturday because they ended up going on stage. It was relatively late, but the gap between the pre-judge and the final as well was like an hour and 10 minutes. It, it, oh. just, it just flattened off too much later in the day. Yeah. Um, and I know like relative to the conditioning, if that was flat, like he was very, very sharp. Yeah. If that was full, it would have popped significantly yeah. more as well. So yeah. it's just, um, he's going to go again a little especially bit. Especially with like a physique like that. Sorry, Carl, especially with a physique that round and that bubbly yeah. that relies on that. Like when he's, when he, if a perfectly peaked him, is is just degrees above where he is, isn't it? It's just it's yeah, just yeah. loads above. He's got um, a very pretty pretty physique, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah. It's perfectly crisp as anything. Uh-huh. That that ridiculous like roundness just starts to show so much more. So yeah, yeah. yeah. But is he get what, what's he doing next? Has he got bands? Uh, he's gonna have eight weeks. To I'm basically just pulling him, just pulling his uh, pulling the aggression down for eight weeks and just restoring some fullness and dropping some fatigue. And then we're going to go again for the second half of the year. Cool. Um, um, and then I don't know if Louis is going to go and keep a men's physique or do classic. Well, he only had totally men's physique now. I, if I, if, if I was in, um, if I was in, I'd stay in, I'd stay in men's physique because he hasn't got to worry about, because it's only what, it's only what an extra is allowed to go over. Is it a four kg? Four. Yeah. And he was he, he struggled to make that weight anyway, so it's still tight. It's, it's still going to be tight. Whereas he can do men's physique, and as you can see there, men's physique he's got a lot of room to grow. Mm. He's got a lot. He's, he's got a lot of room to grow there because there's you know there's no weight cap, but it's just a look, isn't it? And you can see in the in the look there, despite what his fucking yeah. weight, he's got a lot of room to got a lot, a lot of room to grow. Expand. Yeah. Yeah. Sound. Yeah. What um, what else happened this weekend? Uh, I'm had a couple of PCA wins. PCA? Oh, yeah, a few of them. <laughs> Three, weren't it? Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah, I got Dan Dan won, um, Emily won, and Danny won as well. Um, no, that was cool. It was a nice little one. We got uh, one this weekend, I think. Yeah, there's one. PCA on Southwest. Southwest. Only oh, was was... actually near me. Oh, yes, I will be seeing you this, this weekend then, but if you're there. Um, so that was 40 minutes from my house, not four hours. <laughs> Any of you boys um, in the um the JT uh JT classic? Is it JT is it called JT mm. Yeah, yeah, the JT yeah, got one. yeah. I got I got like two in that maybe. Tal, you've got your big yeah. monstrosity in that, haven't you? Uh the yeah, uh, Scott's and uh Greg's in that one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've got uh I think Louis Davies is doing the classic. Yeah. I got um, I got Jules, you know that Jules, the um uh Jules, the classic guy as well. Let me show you this guy, he's fucking good. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's just a, he's just took a, a picture of now, he's like a fucking statue man. He's fucking great. What's his uh, uh, Julia. uh oh Julia. Julio. There he is at the top. Whose guy is this? Mine. Zach. Yeah. yeah, he looks. He looks like a human statue. Tom, he's Tom. He's sixteen pounds under his cap. What? How much? Sixteen pounds under his cap. Wow. What class is he? <laughs> um, D. The tall class. <laughs> nice. 
My 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 classic D guy is literally about a kilo and a half off his weight cut now. He's got four weeks left, so it's a struggle to get him down. <laughs> he's got no, just left. Fucking, he's just fucking made for it, mate. Yeah, he's just he's just. Oh, yeah. And you know you know when you get someone with fucking fantastic genetics, he's got work yeah. as well and discipline, mate. He's like a fucking. Mate, he's he's very if you. Look at my, he's very, very similar to. to What's your guy called, Minton? I think it's AR Fitness, his Instagram handle, Abiola. AR. Very similar shape. 10x, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah. hey, what is it, AR Fitness? I think so, yeah. yeah that's it. Yeah. Abiola. Uh, go on his story. Oh, there you go. That's one a few weeks ago. Good. But go on. Ooh. Go on, it's well, that's, a good, that's a good body, brother. <laughs> There's one from today, I think. If you just click through it, following his plan. Oh, that meal plan looks boring, Martin. He's written that diet. Just fill it with cucumber. Not that cucumber diet. <laughs> cucumber and stevia again. What? What? Uh, what class is he? D. Oh, brilliant. So he's, I think he's cups 104 there. That's you can't really see it there. You probably nice. see it better on actually than his page. He's that's him pretty much today. What's this? What's your favorite? Favorite pub sauce is cake. Is that on his plan? <laughs> <laughs> I'd be bringing him up on that, Mark. <laughs> Here he is. There you go. Yeah, that's nice. Very similar shape to you. Yeah, that's nice. Hmm. I think he done he done Ireland last year in one D. Um, yeah, that yeah, cake, that a... cake, that cake diet's working. Working <laughs> that well. cake and cucumber, cake, cucumber and chicken. Influx of influx of coaching requests. Cake prep. <laughs> this guy could do classic or men's physique. Yeah. Yeah. He he's got some structure to him. Um, yeah. Yeah. Sure. It, yeah. Everything is very sort of. Minimal at the moment, just trying to keep getting down because he's so responsive. Like, and I mean, hyper responsive. Oh, Making weight, you mean? Yeah, like we're talking maybe at one point it was a max of two fifty a week. Really? Wow, yeah. Yeah. mate. I showed you. I showed you guys the guy on one fifty, didn't I? But remember when I showed you, and it was like an eighty six M model. Yeah. Oh yeah. And we were just like, yeah. I was like, what? And then I asked him, like, I was checking. I'm like, are you sure? Like, because my wife, Mitch, she was just like, make sure that he's actually knows how much he's put in. Like, he says 75 mix. Does he mean 7.5 mil? And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> loading three soon, just back. <laughs> no, just 75 milligrams of TRT. <laughs> uh, oh dear. Um. Anyway. So yeah, this weekend we've What's got. That? I got one in we class. Got, you got? One in classic, one in men's physique, one in figure. Bex, so you going over? Anton, classic, Sheridan, men's physique. You going over? Yes, we're going on Friday morning. Cool. Friday morning. Cool. Um, I'll tell you what, though, flying to Germany, fuck me, that's bliss. Easy. One hour. One hour. Oh, really? Oh, wow. It took longer for us to. Get off the plane to our car, but it did actually fly. Wow, that's crazy. That's ideal. Mm. That's ideal. What, um, what's uh, what's, what's, what's going on? Like, I'm, I can't go this weekend because I've got um, other bits and things on. But um, I've got a guy in it. I've got obviously uh, my, my chap in classic. Um, but what's um, yeah, what's it like going over? There it's it's um, flights and stuff. It's not bad. Stockholm. Mm. Yeah. Stockholm we're flying to. Um, I think the actual venue area is a little bit like smaller. It's not like central, central, but I, th I think it'll be all right. It'll be all right. They put on a hell of a show, though, don't they? From what I'm yeah. gathering, like, oh, yeah, they they're put on a real show. I think they've got like, everything backstage for the athletes, like all pumping up gear, sweets. Yeah, <laughs> yeah if there's if it's anything to do with gasp, it'll be um, it'll be a it'll be a solid, well run show, solid show. Awesome. Looking forward to that. What else? Is right. That? Well, that's our wrap up. Yeah. Yeah. That was um. That was it. So yeah, we'll do uh, we'll do one um. Nothing, nothing else happened, though, did it? It was just a good show. Yeah. Very good show. 
Very good show. Um, Very good show. Everyone right. had good days. Martin had a good day this weekend. Yes, he yeah. did. Yes, he did. Yeah. Corey, Corey, arguably, pretends he should be a pro, but not yet. But he will be very soon. Um, he will be very soon. Be very, very soon. So if you listen to this call, fucking keep your head up. Keep up. Keep up. No surrender. No. Um, sound. All right. Well, are you going to go watch Liverpool now? Okay, never mind. And go and cry. We're tuning it up. We're tuning it up. Tuning it up. Soon to be drawing 2 2. <laughs> <laughs> right, fellas, it's a pleasure. Peace. Speak soon.